fog of war. 11. Peter was smiling up at Hara when Blocker got around to him with the mouth guards. She stepped back to let him pass. Nguyen sidled up next to her. He'll be fine, Nguyen murmured. He wanted this. You don't care what he wanted, Hera growled. That's the way it works, he said. It was. She knew it. But he didn't have to go through it alone. Hera walked back to the second row of acceleration couches and sat herself down beside Peter. Sergeant, she called, bring me one of those. Blocker froze. He looked to the officially rankless Nguyen, who shrugged. Mother knows best. Now, Sergeant, I won't put these men and women through anything I'm not willing to do myself. We must begin, Corporal Bruin almost shouted from the front row of couches. Corporal? Blocker asked, surprised. I'm sorry, Sergeant. The tears are temperature sensitive. For best uptake, we must administer as quickly as possible. Blocker looked at Nguyen. Nguyen hesitated, but nodded. Just breathe, people, Hara said, reaching down to tighten the straps over her legs. Blocker arrived with her mouthpiece, which she accepted. He motioned to her straps, and she nodded for him to proceed. In the first row, Bruin began administering the tears. It took only a moment for him to gently pull on a dark-haired woman's eyebrow and cheek, a moment more to trigger the injector. Hara heard it hiss. Keep breathing, he told her. It works fast. Don't be scared. Just listen to my voice. Bruin moved on to the second recruit, an older man who looked back at Hara and smiled. Hara nodded reassuringly and took a deep breath by way of example. Nguyen wandered back over to the medical tray, eyes bouncing from the Skanen medical officer and back to the tray. He reached down and pulled up the blue cloth. Hara saw several dark spots on the cloth, wet spots that ran when Nguyen raised it up. Why would it be wet? The cylinders were sealed, only pierced when they were inserted in the mister. Unless something was added to the... She jerked to her feet, or tried to. Blocker had already finished strapping her down. Bruin, stop! Nguyen shouted. The first two recruits had begun seizing. With one hand, Bruin rammed the mister roughly into the eye socket of the third, while drawing a small pistol from somewhere and aiming it Hara's way. Nguyen started running towards Bruin. There was something metal in his hands. He threw it a moment after the corporal fired. The discharge hit Blocker as he reached for Hara's straps, tearing away half his head and one shoulder. The sergeant died instantly and collapsed on top of her. Whatever Nguyen tossed caused the gun in Bruin's hand to spark. He dropped it and bent over the fourth recruit who screamed in terror, arching away from the Skanen. He wasn't reaching for the mister now. His mandibles were wide, his jaws distended, his fangs closing around the recruit's head. The first two recruits weren't moving at all anymore. The third was bucking so hard Hara could hear bones crack. Nguyen landed a spinning kick on the side of Bruin's head, pushing him away from the recruit. In a blur, Bruin turned and reached both his massive upper arms for Nguyen's neck. The man ducked under the pincers, which clacked closed on empty air. There were knives in both his hands now. He moved quickly, and soon steaming viscera was pouring from the soft tissue of joints between Bruin's armored thorax and his forearms. Hara turned and got her arms around what was left of Blocker, fumbling for the holster at his waist. Skanen could take a lot of damage before they were out of the fight, she knew. She found Blocker's sidearm, firing as soon as it cleared the holster, she heard Nguyen gurgle and saw him stumbling backwards, a vicious claw slash across his chest, already turning his shirt dark with blood. Her third round cored a hole through Bruin's head. The Skanen fell to the ground like a puppet with cut strings. Ahead of her, the third recruit was now still, and the fourth was gasping. It was Brooks, one of the civil engineers from Olin's public works department. His throat had been torn apart. She watched the light go out in his eyes. Nguyen stumbled across the floor and began unstrapping Peter. Good help is so hard to find, he gasped and spat on Bruin's corpse. Told you. We were running lean, he slurred and collapsed into Peter's arms. 
This is your writer and narrator, John Miro. For more information, please visit servingworlds.com. Thanks for listening.